I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sorry, Dan. You can't stop. I have a say in this, too. No, you don't. And even if you did, <laughs> it's far too late for that. She's dead. So, you know, I suggest you put her in the trunk. No, I should go to the police. Are you fucking insane? Put her in, put her in the fucking trunk. Put her in the trunk. Don't go in. Let's go for a walk. What? We have a fresh body in the trunk, we just can't leave it. It'll be fine, Dan. Trust me. Dan, what's our mission? To rid this world of shit. Exactly. You didn't have a problem last week when you were killing that I guy. I did have a problem killing that one guy and the ones before that. How could you not notice that I have a different perspective on this than you? There is no different perspective to notice. I know you feel the same about this as I do. No, I don't. And unlike you, I'm actually starting to think of how it's affecting the lives of the people that they're surrounded by. And how we fucked up so many lives. Just the thought of that is starting to make Dan, me doubt this whole thing. There is no room for doubts in this business. I know, but you're not the one doing it. You have no idea how much damage this shit is doing to me. I know it's not easy. But there's nothing we can do at this point. So listen to my words. No doubts. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Then say no doubts. Good. For a second? Kill him. Why? What did we just say? No doubts. You know what to do, right? Be charming and try not to give off a I'm going to kill you vibe. By the way, where'd you find this girl? Dan, don't fucking question me. Fine. We're the black one. It looks better. You giving fashion advice now? Fuck you. Don't wear it then. Good choice. Hey, what's wrong? What? N nothing. No, nothing's wrong. You could have fooled me. You wouldn't be the first. What did you say? Nothing. I, I sneezed. So, Nicole, um, tell me how are you just 28 years old and already this amazing and successful person? I'm nothing out of the ordinary, Dan. And I already told you I don't like talking about myself. Well, we already talked about me, so... That can be everything. You only talk for about a minute. Well, that's a new record, because usually it only takes about 30 seconds. Are you going to answer my question? Well, what do you want to know? Tell me more about this nonprofit thing. I mean, you barely even touched the topic. Well, I run a nonprofit organization that focuses on delivering care packages to towns and villages that have been impoverished by natural disasters, war, crop governments. Um, and we handle our own media coverage, so we're able to control the content that we post up on our site. Nothing that we have up to censor. Oh, that's amazing. 
Thank you. That's actually why I got involved with the education system here. Attack the problem from both sides, you know. Wait, you're a teacher? TA. Um, I'm in a program that helps preschool and kindergarten students get ready for the school life ahead of them. But really, life in general. It's all about molding their foundations and instilling strong core values so that they always have a moral compass to rely on when making decisions about whatever aspects of their lives. Jesus, you, you're like a modern day Robin Hood. Because you're not stealing from anybody and what you're giving back isn't money. You're giving something so much more than that. It's You said that you run this nonprofit and the website and all this other stuff, but where did you get the money to fund this? Yeah, and that's kind of why I don't like talking about myself. What do you mean? My family. Have you ever heard of the Michelson brothers? Yeah, they're not famous like that, or at least they aren't anymore, but my dad and my uncle are the Michelson brothers. They were these big shot investors that found a clever way to cheat people out of their money to fund their own projects. They retired not too long ago, but in that time, they got more money than they knew what to do with. So naturally, when I was born, I inherited a decent sum. I think your DC and my DC are two completely different DCs. They're not. And that was the problem. I'm so disgusted by my family's background and wealth. If they just use their money for something other than their own lavish and selfish lifestyles, I'd probably still be with them. And so you ran away with your inheritance to do better. Not to do better to do right. Oh my god, how long has this girl been blabbing for? Just fucking get it over with already. Can you shut the fuck up? You cannot be doing this right now. You should tell her to shut the fuck up. Or, you know, kill her right here. We'll talk about this later. Dan, are you okay? Yeah, just emergency. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. What the fuck is your problem? We didn't actually come here for a date, Dan. We came to kill her. She's not shit. She has a good heart. You heard all the things that she was practically doing with her money. She's basically giving it away. Dan? Do me a favor and put your dick away, because it's obviously getting away the mission. I don't give a fuck what she's doing. She fits the description. So what you're gonna do is go out there, ask for the check, take her to the car, kill her, and dispose of the body, like always. You got that? Did you fucking hear me, Dan? Yes! Yeah, sorry. Um, I have school pretty early tomorrow, so I just took care of it. Um, I'm gonna run to the restroom, and then we can go. Yeah. Uh, I'll wait in the car. Okay. Start with that bullshit. Kill her. No, no, I, I, I can't do this anymore. I refuse to be the monster that you want me to be. Don't give me your good guy act. You allowed yourself to become that monster. Fuck you. You can blame anyone you want, but deep down you know that you're the only one to blame. No. You no. know you're gonna no. do it, Dan. No. Do it. All you're doing is making it worse for yourself. Stop. 
off the bullshit and just kill her. How do you even know that she's actually lying? Maybe she's just lying to you maybe because no. she feels bad because you're such a sorry little fuck. Hey, sorry, there was a big line for the restroom. Ready?